What is up, you guys? It is your boy, John, here from Puma Plow. Welcome back to another Felsburn episode here, here, not heard, on the PC. Can you tell it's been a little while since I've done one of these? It has been, actually, a little while. It's been a couple of weeks, actually, or a week. Anyway, it's been a while. I have been playing ahead, as I talked about in the last video, that I was going to take some time and play ahead quite a bit. And I have done that. Now, you guys might be saying, well, how many harvests did you do? I don't know. <laughs> oh my God, the wind outside my house. Um, I really don't know how many harvests. I know there was one harvest where I forgot to do the second fertilization stage on a lot of it. So that kind of messes with the numbers, of course. Uh, but overall, it was a lot of harvest. And you guys might be saying, John, why are you using this tipper? You have an auger wagon. You have an auger wagon right there. Well, yeah, see, there's a little problem. There's just a little bit of a problem. And, and the problem is that this is full. My storage is full. <laughs> so what I'm actually going to be doing is I'm going to be running this tractor. I guess we'll just run it and sell it. And hopefully the price will hold out. Uh, if the price starts to tank, then we can, we can do that. You know, stop selling. But I'm going to run this dipper and I'm going to sell a load. Um, actually, let's talk about pricing first. So, yeah, we have a lot. So, $2,308 is what we're going to be getting over here at the mill. But I also have a bunch in the train, and I don't really want to drive it from the train. So, we're going to use the train to sell it as well. So, we'll be jumping kind of all around, hopefully making a ton of money uh, in this video. I would really like to get myself a semi-trucking trailer. And you know what? I might be able to do that right now. You know what? Let me Let me look at that before I go crazy because that's kind of my next purchase is a semi truck and trailer um we we are going to get we're gonna go white truck yeah we're gonna go white truck and then um white trailer is what we're gonna do i don't know why i like the look of that because you can only change the color of the trailer to so many different colors so there's that okay we're gonna buy that as well then we're going to haul with that instead of this. Just saying. Just saying. So I guess I will put the auger wagon back on here in a minute. Um, and run the auger wagon out of the field. But for right now, yeah. So we got we gotta, we gotta canola to sell, boys. I'm going to be planting soybeans. And I might be doing the same thing where I jump ahead. Maybe not as many harvest. Because honestly, this is like four harvest or something. It's a bunch, guys. It's a bunch. Uh, as you can see, the shop has become an absolute nightmare because of uh, seeding, fertilizing, herbiciding, all that fun stuff. It has been, it has become a nightmare. The white truck, white trailer. I kind of like it, with the black covers and the headache rack and stuff. Mmm, mmm, -mm, liking it. I'm a liking it. So I could haul all the stuff from the train, but that's just a lot of extra hauling that I don't really need to do per se. If that makes sense, I can just sell it at the train and make it's, it's gonna. I'm gonna make a little bit less, but I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. So now here's the first real test of our of our mountain that we put in our our storage mountain. Uh, how does a semi truck handle it? Do the wheels stay on the ground? That's what the uh, important part is here. Uh, almost, almost all the way up. Not bad. Not too bad. Okay, so we need to. Uh, as you can tell, there's 400,000 liters here. Yes, please. <laughs> uh, yes, please. Go ahead and start dumping that. We're going to need to empty that combine. Well, I guess we kind of did. Started emptying the combine here a minute ago anyway. So, yes. We should probably not sell anything until we're done harvesting. But the price the price should, should hold out for at least a little while. I was waiting to see some of these other prices, but... I just, I need to sell. It's time. It's time to make some money. Do you know what I'm saying? It's time to make some money on this map. I have been uh, harvesting and harvesting and not making any money for quite some time. So, it's the time now. It is definitely time. Okay, yeah, wheels off the ground there a little bit, but not too bad. Okay, uh, I need to get that combine so he can turn around. Turn around, Mr. Combine. Oh, and you're not actually empty, because you don't empty unless I'm in you, do 
or got full again or something. All right, you know what? We'll just do it this way. We'll do it this way, guys. We'll do it live. Come here, Mr. Combine. Mr. Combine. Thank you. Goodness me. I need it empty again. Yeah, okay, it only stays empty. Okay, can we can we just get to the auger wagon? We've got a bit of a grain problem right now. Can you guys tell? <laughs> Too much of a good thing right now. We have grain on top of grain on top of grain, and that's a bit of a problem, uh, to be honest. So we're going to figure it out here, boys. We're going to figure it out. Our new little field that we plowed in is working quite well. I'm, I'm happy with the way that's working out. I'm going to need to get some fuel in this combine. Actually, didn't I fuel the combine right before we started the harvest ahead process? I kind of think we did. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's been a lot of harvesting, guys. It has been a lot of harvesting here, guys. But that's okay. That's okay. It's fun. It's been fun, actually. It's been really good. Been able to catch up on some YouTube while I'm working on this and stuff like that. So it'll be a good jump in the map, I think, guys. A little jolt in the arm, you know. A little influx of cash, whatever. However you want to say it. I think it's just going to be good uh, for the farm altogether. So let's see. How, what would be the best way to get there? So we got to go to the mill. Probably go south. Probably run out of this south road here, and then up around him. Yeah. That'll be our best bet to get to and fro. But we can just we can haul so much faster now. We're hauling almost well, not quite double, double, not quite double what we were hauling before, which is awesome. And speed is a thing too, you know. And we look good doing it. That's important, by the way. That is very, very important. So we should pay for the truck and trailer pretty fast, just off of speed alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so nice. It's so nice. So next purchases, plural, purchases, uh, going to be trucks. Or not trucks, Jesus. Um, <laughs> fields, guys, fields. This truck doesn't have any brakes, but, you know, it's to be expected. It's farm sim after all. Fields, 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 fields. Next purchases, guys, coming to this map. The yeah, it's time. We need more fieldage. We need more fieldage. Um, and I'm I'm tempted to turn off weeds. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm trying to like, kind of like taking the easy way out of farm sim here lately. <laughs> I don't know. Especially when I play ahead, it's just like brutal sometimes, having to work with the weeds. But not really a big deal at the same time, I guess. I should just stop whining, huh? Probably. $69,249. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. And that's at our good, our best price. So we will take it, guys. We will take it. There's another $69,249. Nines are wild up there. Oh, that's not going to end well. There's, there's a bench there. Yep. All right, let's take two. Let's try that again. Let's swing out really wide here. Make sure there's no cars coming. And of course, not drive on the road because <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that. Right? Ain't nobody got time for that. I realize that's not a left turn lane, by the way. <laughs> I'm kind of a crazy driver here lately, in case you guys... Uh, can't tell. I'm just saying. I'm a bit of a crazy crazy driver. It's the keyboard, I know. I've talked about switching to a wheel. That will happen. That wheel. It will happen eventually. See what I did there. Uh, it'll probably happen eventually, but not uh, not for a little while yet. Because I, uh, what am I, about a month out real time from the 24-hour stream. And um, after that, I'm hoping to move back to my normal setup area. So... I'm hoping then to be on a wheel, but uh, for right now, obviously not on the wheel. So, eventually, eventually. In due time, guys, in due time. All right, we got a little bit of room for canola now. Let's get this stinking trailer emptied out already. Because apparently he doesn't like to empty. Just saying. And then we'll switch to the auger wagon and run that uh, out of the field here, of course. 
And we really need to put a primary focus right now. A, we need to harvest, but B, we need to be running this truck. We need to be running the truck quite aggressively. Need to be running train too, though. We just got a lot of things to do. Train won't fill unless we're in it, so maybe we'll go get the train done now. Let me get this just emptied, just because this will empty if I'm not in it. Just saying. It's only one load of the combine. They're not quite a full load, so. Let's go find the train. Okay, then the train, how convenient, is like right where I need it. And no, I did not plan that. I wish that was that like forward thinking to do that, but I did not plan that. How convenient. How convenient. Now, this was not full over here, but there's still over 100,000 liters here. So, unfortunately, we have to sit here and watch this because it won't fill. Um, unless we're actually in the thing, which I don't like that. I wish you could just hit the button and walk away. But, um, yeah, lots and lots of canola, guys. <laughs> I'm very happy with how much canola we uh, actually ended up with. Very happy with it. But like I said, I put the time in of, you know, harvesting, so it kind of makes sense, right? All right. For some reason... I don't know why. I cannot get comfortable in my chair today. <laughs> you ever have one of those moments where you're just like, I'm not comfortable. I need to get comfortable. <laughs> yes, yes, come by and I know you're 80%. All right, so we get the last little bit in here real fast, and then we'll run this, and then we'll put more of a focus on the truck for right now. So we have to say it, boys. Woo to the woo-woo. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not obnoxious, right? And we're just going around the corner with it, so it's not like we're even going that far. But hey, we gotta we gotta do the things. I'm blowing the horn, you can't hear it. I swear I am. Here, let's zoom in. There we go. <laughs> Alright, need to slow her down already. A little, little bit. So this would be a little bit of money. Yes, we could have made more money if we would have hauled it, you know, with the truck. But we've got enough to haul with the truck. It's going to take us a minute. So that's a good way to get rid of a hundred and a little over a hundred thousand. Just saying. <laughs> All right, first car. Look at that money just skyrocketing. Guys, let me get it in a place where you guys can see it. Skyrocketing money. Oh. Boy, I'm mm, so excited. I'm so happy. Yes. More money, more money, more money. Gotta love that money. Oh, combine's full? Okay. Good talk. My God. That was $192,000. <clears> yes, please. And then like $5 out of that car. Because <laughs> there wasn't much in there. That's still forty grand. i will take it. I'll take it all day long, boys and girls, all day long. Just like we should snipe field 11 real quick because that's in canola. Just saying. <laughs> we should totally, totally, I should go snipe that real fast. Because <laughs> it's in canola, that's what we're harvesting, and we're going to be selling all of it. At least that's the theory, so I'm here. All right, truck. Give me that truck. Yeah, let's get jacked up. Yeah, we have a lot of canola to haul. Yeah. <laughs> uh, field 11. Yes, please. $192,000. I can take that. Man, we can actually like afford some fields, guys. <laughs> we could, we could, we could, you know. We could, we could, yeah, almost. We're getting there. Field 11 would be good. Eventually, I kind of see this as maybe one big blob. I don't know. Because you got that telephone pole right in the middle. Or the power line. Power pole. So maybe we'll just keep it as separate fields. No plowing together. Maybe that's what we'll do. So, hey, we got one new field already. The goal is to get as many fields as possible off of this, har or this harvest. Uh, this selling process. <laughs> it's not really a harvest, obviously. Because, like I said, a multiple, multiple harvest here. So... I keep forgetting I just come down that road that I put in. Goodness me. 
Oh, goodness. Anyway, um, it's starting to get warm here already, guys. Like, talking about some locally stuff. Try not to talk too local anymore, but talk a little bit local. Let me check my weather while we're driving here. Although, the day I'm recording this, we're under a high wind advisory. Um, apparently, tomorrow it is supposed to be just obnoxiously windy here in the St. Louis metro. Uh, what's it actually supposed to be? 20 to 30 gusting over 40. That's, that's pretty good. <laughs> it's allegedly 68 degrees outside right now. Holy cow. Holy cow. What is it, like the 14th, 13th? Wow. It's March 13th right now when I'm recording this for you guys. So, Not sure when this actually comes out. I'm not totally sure how far ahead I am on videos right now. I know I'm at least... I should be at least a week still, maybe maybe more. I don't know. Uh, I just know that it was time for me to record because I'm like, I, I actually didn't mean to plant canola this last time in the fields. I really didn't mean to do that, but hey, stuff kind of happens, you know? <laughs> so there's that. But yeah, I totally did not actually mean to uh, replant canola. I just went with the, with the planter and started planting. I got like halfway through my fields and I was like, oh, I probably should have done that <laughs> because we, you know, already had our own storage full. We had a bunch in the train. It's like, uh, we're getting there. We're getting past the point of like having too much of a good thing. You know, we're starting to get to, I mean, there is the other train we could fill too, I guess. Yeah. We could have put a bunch up there if we really, really needed to. Yeah. Or we could have just start selling, but I didn't want to sell unless I was recording for you guys. So. There is that. And speaking of selling and stuff, I'm really hoping to get this heart, this 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 process done. Uh, well, you know what? We'll probably stretch this out one more video. I was going to say get it done today, but I don't have time, IRL, real life time, to get everything done that I need to get done today on this map. So I'll do what I can, and then uh, probably tomorrow, real time, I should be able to record. Yeah, should be able to record in the afternoon tomorrow. So. I know you guys really probably don't care, but you know, <laughs> I'm going to bore you with my life anyway. <laughs> uh, now that mom is actually officially cleared off home health and everything, it's Wednesday for me right now. Uh, so technically like Thursdays, we've, we've had all the appointments and everything, but we don't have that this week. So I don't know what she's going to do tomorrow. Just kind of hang out, have a free day for once. If she wants to take a nap. She can take a nap, you know, whatever she wants to do. I don't. I don't care. As long as we get her to do a little bit of therapy, I don't really care what she does the rest of the day, honestly. Still got over 300000 here. This is fantastic. We're going to make so much money. Not to mention what's in the field still. You know. And we may not get um, our best, best price for what's in the field. Because we do have a lot to go, including our new field, uh, which will need to be plowed. So we'll have to break out the uh, subsoilers. But, um, you know, we, we do have a... Uh, have a lot to sell that we're going to get good money for. So if we don't quite get all of it up to 100%, that's okay. This is an issue that I'm having, by the way. Of course, now it stops. This combine does not particularly care for the Zarger wagon too much. He likes to stop and be like, nope, you're not there. I'm going to take my pipe away. And it's like, why? Why would you do that? Just, just leave your pipe out. I would appreciate it. Thank you. Give me all your canola. This is a stick-up. <laughs> this is a stick up give me your canola right isn't that how it goes <laughs> auger wagon drivers holding a shotgun in the cab give me your gun give me your money yeah <laughs> something just like that right <laughs> stuff's pretty valuable so you never know i'm sure it's been done before right i don't know i'm just playing i have no idea Right, we'll go ahead and dump that there because it'll dump while we run. And like I was saying, you really need to be focusing on, on the truck. Get this grain. Get this grain a-moving. That's kind of the name of the game right now is get this grain. Easy for me to say. Get this grain moving. That's kind of what we need to do, guys. Just keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. <laughs> Wheels aren't quite on the ground all the way down our ramp. That's okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. The problem with the semis is, is because you have the trailer it's so long and the the hitch doesn't quite pivot enough, maybe. 
Which, I mean, I guess a real one doesn't pivot a ton. But, you know, you want some pivot there, so... I don't know, I don't have any experience with semis in, like, real life. I've never... Never really messed with them or anything. Never been around them. I mean, tractors, yeah, but semis... Not really. Grandpa had an old, uh... It was actually a water tanker truck at one time in its life. Um, when he bought it, I guess, I don't know if the tank came with it or if they took the tank off from whoever he bought it from. But uh, he actually took it to a local welding shop and had it extended. And then they built the grain box for it, too. So, Or maybe Grandpa built the grain box. I bet Grandpa did because it was wood. It was a wooden grain box. They might have built, like, the floor and he put the sides on it. Maybe that's what it was because I think the floor, you know what, I think the floor was all wood, too, on Grandpa's truck. I honestly don't remember. He sold it in 96 at uh, at his auctions. I don't really remember. I mean, I remember the truck. I remember riding in the truck with him to, like, take grain over to the to the big elevator in town. I remember that. But I couldn't tell you if it was a wood floor. I think it was. I want to say it was. I really do. Yeah. I bet it was. Because I'm, I'm betting your grandpa built it. So, grandpa was pretty handy. As most of those old farmers and, and farmers today still are. You know, you gotta you gotta fix your own stuff a lot of times, you know. So you can't rely on like going to you know, Lowe's and getting a, a bed for your truck. You go get some, some two befores and some one inch lumber and make it yourself, you know. So back in those days they had the rough sawn wood, of course. Not like that junk you buy at the at the big box store these days. Total junk wood, but whatever. Actually, they're, I shouldn't say it's all junk, because there's some, like, nicer wood in, in, like, say, Lowe's. I shop at Lowe's. I don't... Home Depot kind of just grosses me out in a way, because the Home Depots that we have around us are just very dirty all the time, and it's like, God forbid you ask for help from an employee, because you're, like, bothering them. And that's probably, like, a local thing to me. I know Home Depots and other places in the country are really good. And, and people really like them, but at least the one around, or the one closest to me, that, that if I was going to go, it would be that one. Um, they're just, they're just not nice. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's like you're bothering them to, you know, ask where something is, or ask, if you can't find it, asking for help. It's like, it, it, it's like you're bothering them, and that's not a good... That's not good. <laughs> now, I will say, our local lows is kind of crap too <laughs> um and their problem is they just don't have the employees like they need like they should you know they they got i wouldn't say in trouble but i know lowe's as a as a corporate wanted to cut hours cut hours cut hours so they cut their hours all right and lost like half of their good people um at my particular store anyway so yeah it's just kind of like kind of sucks and then we have menards like it's not close to us at all but there isn't, I mean, kind of close. My, are they home already? I'll be right back, guys. All right, after a slight edit there, my bad, I'm back. Um, people showed up at my house. And that sounds way sketchier than it actually is. <laughs> uh, it is, it's Wednesday, as I was saying before, and mom had dialysis today, obviously, and, well, it was just after four o'clock, and I hear honk honk out front. Well, that's strange. That they're not due home for like another hour. You know, they can usually get home around five, five, a little after five. Mom and dad, because you know, dad picks her up. And um, yeah, it was them. They took mom early today, so they kicked her out early at dialysis. So I didn't know that. Thanks for the phone call to warn me, y'all. We're coming home early. Appreciate it. Oh, <laughs> uh, anyway, I think I owe you guys a couple more minutes of this video, and then we'll call it a day. And uh, we'll probably pick it up right after this one in the next one because we got a lot of harvesting. I might jump ahead a few minutes in the harvest. We will see. We will see. But, uh, yeah, harvest to go and um, all this selling. All this selling. Probably shouldn't be selling this early, but that's okay. Probably should have held off and waited till I was, like, done. But I was running out of room to put canola. I mean, I could have put it up in the other trains, but then it's like haul it farther than I need to kind of thing, you know? Haul it in the opposite direction of where it needs to go, its final de destination, you know? It just kind of didn't make sense to me, so there is that. But that's okay, that's okay. 
All right. Get another load hauled over here, guys. Get some more money coming in. We're probably going to buy another field. Or maybe we'll save it for next time. Just spend all our money at once. I haven't decided yet. Have not decided. Probably should just, well, probably just wait. Probably just wait. All right. Another load going in. Another load going in. Going down. It's yelling timber. All that good stuff. <laughs> All that good stuff. The worst part was I didn't think to look at the clock on the recording when I got up and walked away from it. And I let it, it ran for like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes after I like left because I went and helped right away, you know? That's okay. That's okay. Editing magic, guys. As long as I remember to edit. <laughs> Which I'm sure I will. I need to edit one of these days. I've been recording the series and not editing them. It's not a good thing. <laughs> And then one of these days I'll fire up an edit and render like six of them or something silly. Just saying. Something silly like that. Alright, another load hauled in, guys. Another... Oh, oh we're going to have money, boys. We are going to have the money. The money, the money, the money. Very, very happy about this. Just saying. Very, very happy about this. So, oh, goodness. We are, oh, I was talking about the winds earlier. The winds. They're getting ferocious out there, by the way. <laughs> they are starting to get ferocious because it's about an hour after I started recording this video, of course, you know. It's like I said, I had to kind of dip out there in the middle for a while, so. There's that, but yeah, it's, uh, it's getting with it out there. It really is getting with it out there. Which way does that come line? Of course I can't. Uh, he is out the right way. Okay, cool. That's nice. That's nice. All right, all our tire tracks in here. This is kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. We still have like 240,000 liters. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Gotta love it. It's like we're not getting anywhere because we keep harvesting and adding to it. I mean, of course, we are getting somewhere. You know, it's just very slow. But uh, I think we'll haul one more load and then I'm going to call it uh, a video for you guys. Um, I like is that I might jump ahead a few minutes, maybe just yeah, just harvesting, no selling. I'll do the selling on video for you guys, uh, but the harvest I might I might do some more of that just to kind of you know make this one more video kind of thing instead of like all the videos. That's what I'm uh, that's what I'm thinking anyway. So we'll make this process one more one more video. Uh, so probably guys in the next video when we come back we'll be harvesting over here. Trying to wrap those up, maybe, kind of thing. I don't know. Or actually, our new field, uh, field 11. Forgot about that one. <laughs> Just saying. Kind of forgot about field 11 over there. Oopsie, my bad. <laughs> my bad. All right, so yeah, another, oh man, we're at $657,400. Or 534. There was a four in there somewhere. <laughs> I'll just put it up here and then you go, well, you can with the trees. It's like if you put it, the money in the sky, you just can't really see it. It's kind of interesting. I, you know, I missed the old HUD from the last game, but I, I really do like this one. Uh, the fuel gauge is the one I tend not to notice, though. That's the one I'm like, ah, I didn't see that. Okay, cool. Can talk. <laughs> I'm out of fuel. <laughs> Actually, I think I've only run. Have I run out of fuel one time? I think that's what it is. I've literally only run out of fuel like one time in Farm Sim 19. I don't know if I ever did in 17. It's usually not something I do, you know? I'm usually paying attention at least a little bit more than that, so that's not really an issue. All right, guys, last load I'm going to haul for this video. Like I said, probably going to take a couple minutes and, uh, get further ahead in the map as far as the harvest goes and then we'll come back and do all the selling i have room for grain over there now so i can actually store store some canola up over there for a little while you see uh, i'm just hoping that our price our price holds up because realistically i should just sell 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 but even if that doesn't hold up we're the port or the grain elevator east is is coming on and uh that's not a bad price. I mean, there's there's a lot of good prices on the map right now for canola. So that's what we're going to do, guys. $796,000 is where I'm going to leave you all. Uh, we may be a few less dollars than that when we come back, obviously, because I'll probably get 
cedars, fertilizer, herbicide, all that stuff rolling uh, before I come back for the next video as well. Maybe not, though. Maybe we'll just work on harvest because we really need to get everything sold before our price tanks. So maybe that's what we'll do. We'll just harvest and not worry about the other stuff. And then I'll worry about the other stuff off video for you guys. I don't know. We will see. But uh, find out with me next time, guys, in the next video. So until then, I'm your boy, John, from Puma Plow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And as always, toodles.